Isn't she just delightful? Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Maisie Williams moments. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at the greatest, most entertaining, and most hilarious things done by Maisie Williams. We'll be including things she's done in her personal life, moments from interviews or viral videos, and scenes from various TV shows. Number 10 Immortality on Doctor Who you. Maisie Williams seems to be quite the genre enthusiast. If she's not changing faces on Game of Thrones, she's living multiple lifetimes on Doctor Who. Maisie first appeared as a shielder in the ninth series episode, The Girl Who Died, where she was killed in a war with the Maya. This town has lost so much. If we lose you too, there'd be nothing left. However, the Doctor brings her back to life with a Maya repair kit, cursing her with immortality. She subsequently appeared in three more episodes, each performance more compelling than the last. Williams described her stint on Doctor Who as every fanboy's dream, and her enthusiasm for the role shines through. Ended up faking my own death. Did a bunk before the evisceration. Number 9. Killing Littlefinger I did warn you not to trust me. We speak for everyone when we say it's about bloody time. Littlefinger has been scheming and causing problems for seven seasons, so it's a relief to finally see him out of the game. And it was at the hands of our girl herself. After attempting to pit the Stark sisters against each other, Littlefinger's plan is thwarted. And Arya slits his throat with the same Valerian dagger he once put to her father's neck. And that's just so, so satisfying. Not only did she get to avenge her father's betrayal and death, but she basically gave Peter a giant middle finger by killing him with his own blade. Number 8. Heart Rate Monitor Challenge Are you ready for this? No. <laughs> no, okay, that's the wrong answer. Let's go. Okay. In January 2018, Maisie was hooked up to a heart rate monitor for the Radio 1 breakfast show. And the results were delightful. First, her heart rate skyrockets after seeing a picture of her boyfriend. For context, she had no reaction when looking at sexy pictures of Pedro Pascal and Kit Harrington. Now that's love right there. I am punching. Things ramp up again when Eddie Redmayne shows up and tries to glean some Game of Thrones spoilers. And spoilers, it looks like the White Walkers kill everyone and have a big old party. You and Hot Pie get it on, become a thing, have kids, full works. <laughs> <laughs> it's blowing up. It is really blowing up. Okay. <laughs> this segment is a blast from beginning to end, and we get to see Eddie Redmayne's beautiful face. What's not to love? Number seven, Arya's kill list. You're crazy. Well, no, she, they're all justified for sure. <laughs> Watching Arya recite her kill list is always fun. Watching Maisie Williams recite it on Graham Norton while menacingly staring into the camera is amazing. While appearing on the comedy chat show, Maisie revealed that she's constantly asked by her fans to recite the kill list. Seeing his opportunity, Graham asked her to do so for the camera. Joffrey, Cersei. Ill in pain. The mountain. She just had one caveat, adding Tom Hanks, Anthony Joshua, and Graham Norton to the list. Tom Hanks. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing Tom Hanks act surprised is hilarious, and watching Graham Norton totally geek out over being placed on the list is just adorable. Granted, we would totally have the same reaction. Number six, the first time with Sophie Turner. I remember I wore a pink dress. And you wore an alphabetty spaghetti jumpsuit. In March 2019, Maisie and Sophie played the first time with Rolling Stone. It's a fun game, and we learn quite a lot about the two ladies. For example, Maisie auditioned for Nanny McPhee and The Big Bang, and her mother totally fangled over meeting Sean Bean at the first Game of Thrones read through. Along the way, we heard a lot of giggling, watch Sophie touch Maisie's boob and listen to them joke about Joe Jonas's privates. <laughs> Huge, if you know what I mean. Average. <laughs> so, you know, there's a little bit of everything here. It's worth a watch if you just want to learn a little more about the besties, or just want to watch them joke around for 10 minutes. Because that 
ladies and gentlemen, is how you have children. And that's the ditty. Number five, pranking fans. Okay, what can I help you with? I'm here for the giveaway. You want this one? This is you. No, I'm Lorraine. Maisie is quite the little jokester, isn't she? In this nylon video, Maisie can be seen pranking fans in a local hobby store. Fans enter the store to get free Game of Thrones midge and are met by Maisie behind the counter. Only, she isn't Maisie Williams, she's Lorraine. Lorraine has never seen Game of Thrones, thinks that Arya is a little boy, and has the fans act out various animals in scenes from the show, some of them more risque than others. What is going on here? Oh my gosh, push the little f kid out the window! Really? Go! Ah! It's all harmless fun, and Maisie shows complete and total commitment. And really, who doesn't want to watch fans fly around the room like a dragon? Here we have the mother of dragons and a dragon. Breathe like a dragon and be like a dragon. Number four, strive to be talented. My parents divorced when I was four months old. I really was the icing on the cake of a terrible marriage. Of course, it's not all jokes with Maisie. Case in point, her TEDx talk in Manchester. The talk took place in February 2019, while Maisie was sporting the iconic pink hair. But while her appearance is playful and fun, the talk is surprisingly introspective. I didn't really know much about the big wide world then, but I knew that this feeling was addictive and I was going to stop at nothing until I made it my profession. It starts a little awkward as Maisie is as nervous as can be, but things pick up once she begins her story. A plug for her social media app Daisy which connects talented individuals, leads in turn to a beautiful summation on talent, confidence, the value of learning, and the virtues of dreaming. For someone who was so nervous and apprehensive, Maisie killed the TED Talk. It must have been on a list. I was cheeky. I was loud. I was angry. And for this, I was perfect. Number three, carpool karaoke with Sophie Turner. Becky. Look at her butt. <sighs> but. But. Look at her butt. Really, any time you see these two together, you know it's gonna be a good time. They appeared on Apple TV's Carpool Karaoke the series, and it was just wall-to-wall -wall insanity. One of the best bits saw them saying silly things like Hakuna Matata and It's a Me Mario while imitating Sean Bean. Action! Hakuna Matata. What a wonderful phrase. <laughs> that clip alone garnered 15 million views on YouTube. The segment also saw them scaring fans in a Game of Thrones attraction, talking about their dream jobs like working the floor at CVS and singing various pop songs. If you want to see the girls at their most wild, untethered, and uncensored, check out the episode. Oh, well, that's where you, Do you should start. you want to take me on a date? Yeah, I'll mixology take you a mixology class. class and you take me to CVS. How's that? Number two, April Fools. There's really nothing that I can say they would absolutely kill me. All right, Maisie, you damn near gave us a heart attack there. While promoting Game of Thrones on Jimmy Fallon, Maisie accidentally let slip that Arya died in the second episode of the season. She shows some incredible acting talent here as she plows through the spoiler without warning or fanfare and seems legitimately worried about blowing a giant secret. The final days were really like emotional saying goodbye to all of the cast because when I found out that Arya died in like the second episode, I was... On the other hand, Jimmy's acting is a little rocky at first, although he pulls himself together quite well. It was a fantastic and heart-stopping prank thanks to Maisie's complete dedication and unbelievable acting talent. Are you serious? It's fine. I'm really sorry. No, don't worry about it. No, it's fine. Okay. We can edit it, right? And of course, the video went viral, helping to drum up the hype for season eight. Not that it needed more. April Fools! <laughs> Before we unveil our top pick, here's some honorable mentions. Oh, Schlorpet. Is that the Schlorp nut soup for our guest? Yes, but this is the last of our Schlorp nuts. They're all gone. Yours is better. This is thicker, so it's a little moister. Are you gonna keep that bit in? No. Number one, killing Walder Frey. As satisfying as Littlefinger's death was, it doesn't compare to Walder Frey's demise. This was the man who betrayed Arya's house, killed her mother and brother, 
and had her unborn niece or nephew slaughtered in the womb. The Lannisters and their regards. <laughs> Suffice to say, there was unfinished business there. Arya finally got her revenge when she butchered Walder's sons, baked their remains into a meat pie, and fed them to Walder. They weren't easy to carve. After revealing herself, she slits his throat and calmly holds his head as he bleeds out. The last thing you're ever going to see is a Stark smiling down at you as you die. And with that, Arya's transformation into an emotionless killer was complete. It was gratifying, but also a little terrifying. Just what you get with Game of Thrones. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo UK and subscribe for more great content.